Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn about blend modes in the 3D LUT Creator. Blend modes in the 3D LUT Creator are very similar to layered blend modes in Photoshop. For example, if I create the LUT that removes saturation and send it to Photoshop, I will have the opportunity to change how this LUT is applied. First, I can change the opacity. I can reduce it or remove entirely. Second, I can change the normal blend mode to any other from the list. For example, lighten. In this case, the effect is not quite the same as it was built in the LUT. It consists of the original image and the image that is processed by the LUT. It can be replaced by creating another raster layer with zero saturation, removing the LUT and blending of the two layers, the original and processed. I change the blend mode to lighten and get the same result. Let's delete it and move on to the 3D LUT creator. There is a master section in the masks tab. It allows you to change the LUT effect from 100% to 0%. You can also set negative values as well as values greater than 100%, thus doubling or inverting the effect. Also, there is a drop-down list with blend modes. If I choose lighten here, I'll get the same effect as in Photoshop. That is, in the master section, the original image is mixed with the edited image. Let's learn about these blend modes. Lighten, Darken, Multiply, Screen, and Soft Light modes, just like in Photoshop, are applied per channels. For example, the result of blending in the red channel doesn't depend on the green or blue channels. To demonstrate this, let's look at the color in numbers. I choose the eyedropper and click on the color of the skin. New patch appeared in the analyzer to control the selected color by numbers. Here is the original color of the image and the resulting color. If I turn off the master section, the blend mode no longer works and I can see the result of desaturation. We have a color 182, 115, 82 and the resulting color is 131 in all three channels. If I choose lighten, then from two values, the input and the output, the bigger will be chosen. And so for each channel, in the red channel, 182 is greater than 131. Therefore, 182 remains. In the green channel, 131 is greater than 115. Therefore, 131 remains. In the blue channel, 131 also remains. I turn on the master section and see the result. We got this color correction. As you can see, it strongly desaturates green, changes the orange colors to pink, and also desaturates the blue color. As you understand, the master section operates with the whole correction. Therefore, we can go to the curves and slightly colorize our desaturated image. For example, like this. That is the result of the correction with blend mode turned off. I remove some blue from the desaturated version. After blending in the lighten mode, we get this result. Here is the before and after. Next mode is darken. It does the same thing, only downward. That is, from two values, the input and the output, the smaller one will be chosen. I turn off the curves. So, after desaturation, there is 131 in all three channels. And after applying darken mode, only the red channel changes because its value is greater than 131. The green and blue channels are not changed. To reduce the effect on the skin, I tone the black and white versions by the curves. For example, raising the red curve up as it only affects the result. So, here is the toned black and white version, and this one with the darken mode. Such actions greatly reduce the color variability and it is not good for the picture, so it is necessary to reduce the effect here. But if your picture has a lot of colors, it can help. That's what it was before and that's after. Let's move on to another mode, less sat. Photoshop doesn't have this mode. This mode takes the saturation of that image where it was less. For example, if I make the image warmer, the saturation of the skin isn't increased because the skin in the original image is less saturated. 
but the blue colors change because after changing the white balance, they become closer to neutrals and their saturation reduces. That is, with the blend mode turned off, the skin becomes more saturated, and with this mode, only the saturation of cold colors is changed. As you may know, the saturation increasing with using curves or white balance leads to a reduction of color variability. Less sat mode allows you to bring together the skin tones without making them oversaturated. More sat mode, on the contrary, chooses more saturated areas. If I make the white balance colder, the skin becomes less saturated as it would become without this blend mode, and the variability of the entire image increases. The next modes, Multiply and Soft Light, are similar to modes in Photoshop. Let's start with the Soft Light mode and do the same thing in Photoshop. In various lessons on YouTube, I often see that people copy layer with an image and change its blend mode to Soft Light. They do this to increase the contrast. It is not worth doing. First, you create another raster layer which takes memory and hides your changes in the underlying layers. That is, if I need to retouch, I have to do it either on top or in both layers. Second, as a layer blends on itself, it is equivalent to the curve. Let's consider why. Blend mode is a function of two variables, which is applied to each channel of the image separately. For example, the red channel of the underlying layers is taken, the red channel of the current layer is taken, and some mathematical operation takes place between them. Then, the same for the green and blue channels. If you blend the image by itself, then you pass the same two variables to the function. That is, you get the function of one variable, and any function of one variable can be represented by a curve. Let's look at the form of the curve. This can be done in 3D LUT Creator. I choose Soft Light Blend Mode. That is, the image is applied onto itself. Then I compile LUT and load it as external. Here it is. The master section is reset and the correction is here now. Now I extract the curves by the command edit, external LUT, extract curve from external LUT. Now let's see what we have left in the external LUT. I turn it on and turn it off, but nothing changes. That is, the whole correction is located in the curves. Here are the soft light curves. They are common contrast curves and can be replaced by a single master curve if you blend the image on itself. Let's look at the other modes. Let's choose Multiply mode. Again, I compile LUT and extract the curves. Here are the multiply curves of a layer that is applied on itself. I turn off the external LUT and nothing changes. Thus, there is nothing but the curves in this LUT. Now I select the screen mode. Again, I compile LUT and extract the curves. Here are the curves. That is, the copying layer and the changing of its blend mode can be replaced by curves, but only in those cases if you do not apply it to any three-dimensional correction. The simplest three-dimensional correction is desaturation. Let's try soft light with desaturation. I choose soft light mode and decrease saturation. Now I compile and extract the curves. And now we still have a correction in the external LUT. If I turn it off, the picture changes. That is, in this case, blend mode cannot be replaced by the curves. That is why these blend modes are implemented in 3D LUT Creator. So the blending image on itself in soft light mode increases contrast and saturation. To see why it is, let us remember what the soft light mode does. The imposition of a medium gray color in soft light mode on top of the image doesn't change it. But if the color values that we blend is higher than 128, the resulting color becomes lighter. If it is less than 128, the color becomes darker. Since we blend the image onto itself, then we put the red channel to the red channel. The red channel is more than 128, so it becomes even brighter. The green channel is less than 128, so it gets darker. The blue channel also becomes darker. Due to the fact that the difference between the channels increases, saturation of the image increases also. If we want to affect only the luminescence component, we need to apply the same values to the red, green, and blue components. That is, we need to desaturate the upper layer. 
I reset saturation and now the impact becomes unidirectional. That is, the red channel increased, the green channel increased, and the blue increased. If now I take the color from the shadows of the image by pressing Alt-Shift and clicking this color, we see that all three channels become darker. Thus, we get another way to increase the contrast without changing the hue and saturation. In this case, we do not have to use the other color model, such as LAB, YUV, and so on. Everything is done directly in RGB. I reset the settings and turn on Multiply Mode. Multiply Mode multiplies channel values in percentage. If I choose a color's percentage, then where it was 50%, I get 25%. As the result of multiplication 50% by 50%. In one of the video tutorials, I saw that desaturated image, made in the channel mixer, is applied in multiply mode. So now we can do it in the 3D LUT creator. I go to the channels tab. To get a black and white image here, you must specify the same ratio in the red, green, and blue channels. For example, 0, 20, 80. I can slightly reduce the effect and add brightness with the curves. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, this correction slightly reduces the saturation of oversaturated colors and also adds dimension, as the dimension of the skin is located in the blue channel. And we use 80% of the blue channel during desaturation. On the color wheel, it can be seen that this color correction darkens the saturated red. It also adds dimension on the face. I can lift the left point of the curve in order not to darken the shadows so much. If I do this, holding down the Alt key, the midpoint rises proportionally. For example, like this. Here is the before and the after. Screen mode does the same thing, but only with respect to the white point. That is, it always lightens. So let's shift the curve in the opposite direction. Here is the before and the after. In this case, the highlights are lightened. In addition to these blend modes in the 3D LUT creator, there are three. They are presented as luminance, hue, and saturation sliders. They work similar to blend modes in Photoshop, hue, saturation, color, and luminosity, but you can adjust them independently. Let's make some obvious correction. For example, like this. And now let's look at the master section. 100% position of luminance, hue, and saturation sliders means that I take luminance, hue, and saturation from the resulting correction. If I decrease the luminance value, it means that I do not want to change the brightness of the original image completely, or make 62% of it, or completely eliminate it. If I set the blend mode to zero, this corresponds to the blend mode color, where the color tone and saturation are taken from the top layer and the brightness is taken from the bottom layer. And the opposite way, I set 100% of luminance, but hue and saturation I set to zero. It corresponds to the luminance blend mode, when the brightness is taken from the top layer and the color from the bottom. Since these sliders can simultaneously adjust all three parameters, then you have a lot more options for adjusting your LUTs. For example, you can slightly increase the saturation and fully apply the hue change. These controls can also be combined with blend modes. That is, you can apply the blend mode first, then adjust the effect, and then adjust the individual color characteristics. I hope this video was useful, and now you'll be more confident in working with blend modes in 3D LUT Creator. Subscribe to the channel, put likes, goodbye.